Hey YouTube, as promised, um, here's my first tutorial style video. And we're going to do a video today on how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. And we're going to do it the easy way. You can do it a couple of ways. One way you can install, download the Kali Linux ISO file and install it that way. That way you've got to create the hard drive. You've got to you know, set the memory. You know, you got to do a whole lot of other things to install Kali Linux that way. We're going to do it the easy way. We're going to download the Kali Linux virtual file. It has everything already preset. It's already installed. All you got to do is start up and log in. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first thing, let's hop on Google. And we're going to download VirtualBox. All right, let's go to the Downloads page. I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm going to click on the Windows host. It's going to download the VirtualBox executable file. You know, most of you should know how to install Windows executable files. So go ahead and install VirtualBox. Get that set up and running. And then once you've done that, then we're going to download Kali. And we're going to do that by going to, we're going to go back to Google. Just say download Kali. Click on Get Kali. Instead of the ISO image like we talked about before, let's download the virtual machine. Click on virtual machine. We're working in VirtualBox, so click on the download link and you're going to download uh, a zip file, a .7zip file. Once you download that, go back to our downloads, you'll have this archive file. So right click on it, you know, and extract using your zip file manager. I use 7zip. And when you do that, you'll get a folder. And then there's two files. You got the one, this is the virtual disk, and this is the vir virtual box file for Kali Linux. So just double click on that. All right, that opens up virtual box. So you see you have Kali Linux is powered off. Go ahead and turn it on. This will take a couple of minutes, depending on how much memory you have on your computer and your CPU. Um, but while we wait, you can see here in the description, it tells you the version. I'll move this out of the way. It tells you the version. It tells you the username, which is Kali. The password is Kali. You'll want to change the password once you get this set up, but that's how you get logged in. So you'll see a screen like this. Let this start up. It'll take a couple of minutes. And this, this this is just a quick and easy way to install Kali Linux with minimal effort. But if you want to be more specific about how much memory you have running on your Kali Linux box or how much disk space and so forth, then you'd want to go the route of installing via an ISO image. And we can do that in another tutorial. But here, let's log in. Username is Kali. Password is Kali. Right. All right. And once you're logged in, I um, mean, you're already if your computer, your host computer is connected to the internet, then your Kali box is going to share that network card and have access to the internet as well. So you can hop on Firefox, start surfing the internet, start using some of the tools. First thing I would do: change your password, open up a terminal. You're logged in as the Kali user. Type in P-A-S-S-W-D. Your current password is Kali. Change it to whatever password you want. All right, and that's it. So now, whenever you save any files on this machine, like if you download a file or whatnot, it's going to be here next time you restart the Kali VirtualBox machine. So um, it is persistent. You can save files here. It is not an encrypted persistent drive, so it's not encrypted, but I can show you how to do that in another tutorial. But this explains how to get Kali Linux running in VirtualBox the easy way. All right, I hope you guys liked that. If you did, um, hit the subscribe button, and I'll create some new videos for you. Thanks.